Okay folks, so as promised, I've recorded this short video for you to explain to you um, why you might need an SSL certificate um, for any Facebook fan page content that you've created outside of Facebook using an iframe. Now, if you followed my course um, and you've got to day 29, um, specifically part seven, I show you how to create um, a page that you can import into Facebook from another website using an iframe. Now, as of the 1st of October 2011, if you do this on a fan page and you bring in content from another site hosted outside of Facebook, you will require what's called an SSL certificate. Okay, um, otherwise the page won't display when um, people are browsing on Facebook. Now, the reason it won't display is because Facebook have a new security feature, which I'd like to show you. Um, and this is my personal Facebook account. You'll notice at the top on the address here that the HTTP has an S after it, just there. Okay, that indicates that the site is secure and that I am browsing, personally, browsing Facebook um, securely. And if I click on this little padlock here, it brings up some information that tells you that the site is secured. Now, you can adjust this setting and turn it on and off by going to your account settings and then clicking on the security tab here. And you'll notice where it says secure browsing, it's currently enabled. Now, if you click on edit, you can disable it. But as I say, from the 1st of October 2011, um, any content that you've created in an iframe will not display on Facebook unless you have an SSL certificate. Now, I don't want to confuse you too much about the technicalities because I found some really good articles which will explain to you what these certificates are and why you need them. And um, just briefly, a bit of history, the reason Facebook have decided to do this is because they got um, hijacked earlier in the year and they decided to um, protect uh, fan pages using these SSL certificates. Now, I've hunted high and low for you to find some really good information to show you how you can um, secure your pages completely freely. OK, it won't cost you a penny. And I've done this myself with my own pages. Um, and the reason why I'm feeling very glad to share this information with you is because SSL certificates traditionally um, can be very expensive. And the cheapest I found was around $50 for a year and then a monthly charge on top of that. And in some cases, if your content is hosted on a subdomain, um, which is a sort of domain located beneath your main domain, then in, it can cost you as much as four or five hundred dollars for an SSL certificate. So I'm really pleased I found this information for you and I'm, um, I feel privileged that I can share it with you. Um, so I'm going to give you the link to this article which will explain to you what the certificates are and why Facebook have introduced them. And I'm also going to show you this article I found um, which will show you specifically using HostGator how you can um, do this for free to protect your pages for free. It's an excellent article and rather than me describe and show you in the video I thought I'd give you the link to this because you can literally just follow it in your own time and at your own pace and um, it's not as difficult as it looks. Please don't be put off by this. It's actually very straightforward. It should only take you about five minutes or something like that. So um, so I'm going to share these links with you and you can read them at your own leisure. And then, as I say, if you have created pages um, using part seven of day 29 of my course, then this is a very important step and you will need to implement this after the 1st of October or ideally before the 1st of October 2011. So um, I hope this all helps and I hope the articles help too. Um, if there's anything you're confused about or you can't get it to work, then please let me know and I'll do my best to assist if I possibly can. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for listening. Take care for now. Bye-bye.